What's good? What's good, party people? Welcome to Candid Conversations. I am your host, Candia Johnson, a woman on a mission to help you show up and speak up anyway, despite dealing with fear, self-doubt, or uncertainty. So I want to talk about some things my therapist told me at the start of this year, or I think it was at the end of this last year for the start of this year. But anywho, two pieces of powerful advice that my therapist gave me at the start of this year. And I wanted to share it with you because at the time that I'm recording this podcast, we are less than 60 days away from 2022. And I'm always in a very reflective space in about the end of October, early November, because I'm planning for Q1 of the following year during that time. And so I'm always asking myself what worked, what didn't work, what do I need to feel more of, what do I want to feel less of, what brought me the most joy, what drained me, right? I'm always in a very reflective space. But earlier this year, I went to see my therapist and she said to me, Candia, there is not always better than here. That's the first piece of advice. And she also said, how can you embrace more ease in your life, right? Now, let me explain. Before I explain, though, y'all, the funny thing is, I went in that lady office, like, I don't know why I'm even here. I'm good this month. I don't need to talk to you. But I had scheduled the appointment, and I felt compelled to go because I forgot to cancel. Because I'm like, I'm good. I don't need therapy this month. But how about that bit that wound up being the day, y'all? I was crying all over the place, acting like I ain't had no sense in that lady office. Forgive me. But anywho, <laughs> I'm sharing that with you all because I want to tell you this too. Sometimes how you see yourself is different than how you are perceived. And I am a firm believer in allowing yourself an opportunity to just vent or just shoot the breeze and talk about life with a person who doesn't know you, okay? Because they they could detect some things in you that you can't detect in yourself. And that's what my therapist did for me that day, okay? But anywho, let's get into these pieces of advice. So I was just sitting there running my mouth, rambling on and on and on about life and and, and my time as a kid and life now and some of the things that I've struggled with and some of the things and hopes and the dreams and all these sorts of things, you know, all the things that I want for the future. And so my therapist looked at me and said, Candia, there is not better than here. And what she meant by that is sometimes we are in such a rush to achieve that next best thing or get to that next best destination that we get so caught up in thinking that that thing is going to be better, that thing is going to be the thing that fixes us, that we fail to be in the present moment. And sometimes we could set ourselves up for disappointment because that thing may not be all that is cracked up to be. And so I share that with you because it speaks volumes to one of the things that I say all the time, especially now at the end of the year. Right about now, and I always say this, it's less about what you do and more about who you will become. It's less about what you can get and more about who you will become or who you can become. The second piece of advice that she gave me was, she said, Candia, how can you embrace more ease in your life? Because from listening to me, now I've had several therapy sessions, and so she recognized a pattern where I had a subconscious belief because I didn't even really recognize this in myself. She recognized that I had a belief like things had to be hard before they can become easy. And the reality is everything ain't got to be that damn hard. I talked about this on a podcast uh, episode with Marty Sutton. Everything doesn't have to be a struggle. And so at this point in time, if you're like me, and you are planning some of the goals and and the dreams and the things that you want to do for the following year, I would tell you that you can, of course, you know, be planful and all those sorts of things and laying these things out, but then ask yourself, how can I invite more ease in my life? 
right? Whether that's what you want to do financially with your children, whether it's with your goals, how can you invite more ease in your life? It, everything doesn't have to be this hard. And if it's this hard, maybe it's something you need to eliminate and so I wanted to share that those two pieces of advice that I received from my therapist, because in my reflective space, I realized that it has been the advice that's helped me the most this year. It has been the advice that has helped me look at things in my business, look at things in my personal life and always ask myself, am I embracing ease in this moment? Am I wishing my life away? Because that's another thing. When you are so busy planning for there, you're rushing through here and right now. And essentially, you're rushing your life away. My niece, she comes in my room every morning before she leaves to go to work. And she says, oh my God, two, two more days before Friday and four more days before Friday. I'm like, girl, you are wishing your life away. If you are that unhappy, with your job, I'm not going to tell you to leave your job. I'm going to tell you, you need to be on a hunt for the things that brings you joy. Cause that's nothing that that's another podcast. Okay. Your job is not responsible for making you happy. You need to find those things that make you happy or bring you joy. And they may not be aligned to your job. Friendly reminder, Tony Jones, who produced the album affirmations for the grown ass woman. Tony Jones says your weekend should not be a retreat from your weekdays. Let me repeat that. Your weekends should not be a retreat from your weekdays. Remind yourself of that during the week. If you are spending time wishing your life away, it's time for you to get serious about finding what brings you joy. Okay. I was talking to someone the other day and they said to me, I know you're busy. I know you're busy. Uh, uh, I don't like that word busy because I've been busy before and busy ain't never made me feel good. I don't have to hustle. I, 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 I rebuke hustle. Okay. Hustle, grind, whatever you want to call it. Candia rebukes that. I don't even embrace this whole spirit of busyness because at a time I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Okay. At a time that I was really busy and I'm using air quotes, the time I was really busy, I was running or avoiding something internally. Okay. I was avoiding a feeling. I was avoiding, uh, the, the, the person who I really wanted to become this person you listening to right now that you listen, I was avoiding her. Okay. So I remained busy traveling around the world, doing all the things just to make it seem like I was about that life, but I really wasn't about that life because internally I wasn't feeling good. So I don't like the word busy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I want to embrace ease. And sometimes ease means I'm simply unavailable. That's it. I, I push back on this whole busyness, hustle, grind. Not nah, I ain't got that time for that. Okay. So this is going to be a quick episode today, but I just wanted to share these two pieces of advice in hopes that it can give you some clarity and, and peace of mind. Okay. I'll talk to you soon.